What if I told you that you could create winning meta ad creatives using AI in under five minutes outperforms all of your competition? Not only that, but the quality of the content creating looks like it's been done by a professional content agency. And the best part is you don't need professional designers, you don't need a huge budget, and you don't need any advanced design skills. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly how to create scroll stopping meta ads using AI. I'm going to show you five different AI strategies you can implement immediately, and I'm going to give you the exact prompts and tools that I use to get the best possible results. But before we get started, here is the truth about meta ads. 73% of ads fail because of poor creative, not because of targeting. Most stock photos look fake and get ignored and professional photo shoots are expensive and time consuming. So let's learn how to create unbelievably strong creatives for a shoestring budget in a matter of minutes. Let's jump straight into the video. So before we go any further, we're gonna be using a few tools in today's video. The number one tool we're gonna be using is a tool called Fal.ai. And Fal.ai is essentially a marketplace for different AI tools. And the cool thing about Foul AI is it has access to hundreds of different AI models. And if you log into your account and click on explore, you can come down here to search. You can either search for the specific model that you want, or you can filter the model by the different categories it has to offer. For example, we've got image to 3D, image to image, we've got image to video, we've got text to speech, text to video. So there's so many different models that you can use. I will be telling you the ones I like the most, but Foul AI is an excellent tool. And the way it works is you give it a budget, so you would upload some credits to your account, and the different models will cost different amounts. So you can pick and choose the model that you want depending on the budget that you have. The second tool that we're going to be using is called Google Gemini and Google Gemini recently came out with their new feature which is called Nano Banana which is an unbelievably good for certain things and we're going to be going through what those things are today. Now you can obviously access Google Gemini via file.ai but I've just found with the amount of volume that I'm putting through Google Gemini getting yourself a Google Gemini account is going to be worth it in the long run. And the third tool we're going to be using which does not need any explaining at this point is going to be ChatGPT. ChatGPT is excellent for creating prompts and it's also good for some forms of image modeling. So let's jump straight into the video. The first thing we're going to do is what I call image or product placement. That is essentially taking the product that you're offering and placing it in a really cool environment that looks incredible when it comes to your Facebook ads. So you want to come to explore. And within explore, you're going to click this search bar. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click image to image. That is basically where it uses a reference image to generate another image. And the one I'm going to use for this is going to be Flux Pro. I found that Flux Pro does everything that I need and it's extremely cheap. It only costs four cents per image. So the prompt I'm going to give Flux Pro is going to be, please take this image of an HVAC unit it and place it on an iceberg. Super, super simple. Sometimes I find the more simple prompts, the better. And I've just uploaded a PNG photo of a HVAC unit. It wouldn't need to be PNG. This one is transparent, but yours doesn't need to be. I'm going to click run, come back here in a couple seconds and see what this comes out with. Now, the best part of this is, I'm going to let you see, it's very, very fast. It's much, much faster than, for example, ChatGPT, which in my experience takes like two to three minutes to generate an image. Um, so as you can see, it's showing us a before image. We slide to the right. We've got our after image. Yeah, that looks pretty cool if you ask me. The quality isn't the and you can click on more than here and you've got different options here uh, such as a guidance scale and this will basically is kind of determining how similar you want it to be to your or how much freedom you want to give it in terms of your prompt so the lower end of the spectrum it will be give it a bit more freedom the higher end of the spectrum is if you've got a really specific prompt you want to get exactly right you would then slide that to the further end of the scale and then you can choose your output format i tend to go png here and also you can choose the number of images so let's say for example you wanted three images to get three different variations just they'll all be slightly different because uh, every time you run this prompt it'll be slightly different if i then click run Give this again a few minutes. It's going to take probably like three times the time. And as you can see, it's generated us three images, all very similar, but each one is ever so slightly different, right? Now, let's say, for example, this was more seasonal. You wanted something that represented heat. So we might say, please take this image of an HVAC unit, place it in a desert where it is extremely warm. Warm. Let's click run. We'll go with one uh, variation for this one. We'll click run. And there you go. As you can see, it has given us the image of our HVAC unit inside of the desert, which is pretty cool. Now, obviously, you could do this in several things. You could take the product, you could show inside of somebody's home. You can show inside it does different styles of homes. The list is endless, but you're essentially creating really unbelievably high quality stock images of your specific products that you are offering. Now, the second solution we're going to be talking about is image modeling. Okay, this is creating variations of the images that you've uploaded to show the transformation of those images. And for this, I like to use all sorts of tools and you can use Flux Pro as well for this. I do actually like to use ChatGPT and Google Gemini. So I'm going to show you examples of both of those in action. We're going to start here with ChatGPT and I find ChatGPT for transformations tends to do a better job um, and I like for image editing I think Gemini tends to do a better job so I'll show you a couple of examples of both so here you can see I've uploaded a photo of a, a media wall like transformation so I've uploaded the end product the finished product of a media wall and I've asked it to say please can you create me a before image of this media wall I want it to be the same home but I want you to show realistic image of what it would have looked like before the media wall was installed slightly old-fashioned not as modern etc you can remove the paneling on the walls remove the fireplace switch to TV for a slightly older one and you can change the furniture to be slightly older and 
less trendy furniture. And you can see here, it came back with the actual image itself, um, which looks pretty good. It's exactly the same structure, same wall style, but it's just a before and after transformation. So you can see this before and after transformation. Now, wait, make sure you watch the rest of this video because later we're going to come back to this and we'll show you how to use this tool to create amazing video ads. So let's move on to the next thing, which is image editing, and that is changing colors and stuff like that. So just quickly, if we go to Google Gemini, I tried the same prompt within Google Gemini, and as you can see, it didn't get it quite right. Perhaps that was my fault. Perhaps that was a prompt, but I just find it, it's a little too literal, right? It looks like this was taken out of the 1980s, right? So you can obviously try both of those tools and see which one works best for you. But seeing as image modeling comes free with ChatGPT Pro account, I do think it's actually quite good at doing that. Now, let's have a look at image modeling. So let's say, for example, your product that you're advertising is windows and doors, and maybe windows and doors comes in several different colors and styles, and you want to be able to show those colors and styles in your ads. So what I've done here is I've uploaded a photo of an anthracite gray window. And I've just said, please change the windows to white, keep image exactly the same otherwise. And you can see it's come back with this image. That is perfect, right? You wouldn't be able to tell if I put those side by side, which one was um, AI and which one was real. You would not be able to tell. It's ex extremely well done. So what I did then was I actually downloaded the second image. And I recommend if you're asking for multiple prompts, it tends to just like its brain isn't very good at remembering what it did before. So I tend to just download it and then reprompt it with a new one. I've downloaded this image. And now what I've said is please change the walls from brick to plastic and painted white and as you can see here it is an exactly the same thing so whatever your product is that you're advertising you can show the varying different styles of those products by using ai and what's cool about it is it will keep every image exactly the same so it will look like the best before and after transformation you could possibly generate now the third solution that we're going to go through is actually creating image ads with text using ai now my favorite tool for this is chat gpt i'm going to show you one that i created earlier now this is an image that i created earlier it's where i did the image to image ai generation using context and i basically put this uh, image of a window in a showroom just to make it look cool. And so what I've done is I've said, please take this image and create a square Facebook image ad. I want to have eye-catching headline that reads, reads, purchase three windows and get a free composite door worth £1,500. Format the text however you think best. Also make sure to include their reviews, which are 4.9 out of 5 across 100 plus Google reviews with a five-star icon on there. Make sure to use color, bold eye-catching fonts, different text weights and sizes to emphasize important words. Now you can obviously give it color prompts if you've got certain branding styles. And as you can see here, it's come back with this, which to be honest is not that bad. It's a pretty decent image ad purchase three windows and get a free composite door worth 1500 pounds and it's got the 4.9 out of 5 100 plus google views and our original image very very simple but it's reasonably decent and the cool thing about ChatGPT is it has an api so you could actually connect this up to make.com or nan and you can actually automate the creation of ads just like this one very simple very easy but extremely effective now let's move on to solution number four and this is creating personalized location-based ads and this one is extremely effective and i use this all of the time so we know that using landmarks in our ads massively increases ad performance. Now for this one, again, I'm going to be using Google Gemini. And what I've done is I've uploaded a photo of my local town. Now, I live in Kingston, which is in Southwest London. So I just went to Google Images and I found a photo of Kingston. Now you could obviously prompt it to generate that photo for you, but I wanted it to look as realistic as possible. So this is a photo of the high street in Kingston. And what I've done is I've said, please place a female personal trainer holding a sign that reads, we are looking for five women who want to feel incredible by Christmas as though they are standing on the street. The text reads clearly, but looks as though it's been handwritten and is real. Now you can actually do this both ways. So the way I've done it is I've chosen to upload the background, but you could actually upload the foreground and you could ask it to place that foreground on a different background if you kind of get what I'm saying. So what I've said here, you can see the images come back. That looks real. You cannot tell when that looks real. The lighting, the, the angles, everything, the, you know, the light shining off her face, it all looks extremely realistic. However, it got the text wrong. So we said, we are looking for five women who want to feel by Christmas, right? Not quite right. So I just simplify it down. Please place a female personal trainer holding up a sign that reads, we're looking for five women in Kingston as though they were standing on the street. Now, obviously it's a different personal trainer, but it's extremely realistic and looks good we are looking at five women in kingston you could take that screenshot you could use it as retargeting ads or whatever you want to do extremely extremely effective now this is one way that i love to do this and it's such an easy way to create referential image ads that resonate with people in that local area now the last one and possibly my favorite is generating video ads using ai and for this we're going to go back to foul.ai and we're going to search for a tool which is called pixverse v5 transition and the cool thing about this one is it allows you to create a transition between two product images right so what i actually did for this one is i went to ChatGPT, which generated the media before and after images. I just said, now I want a prompt for Pixverse V5 transition that creates a short video showing the transformation between the two images. I also said, I want the camera to stay in exactly the same position throughout. I don't want it to zoom or pan. What I tend to find is quite a lot of the time, it will like zoom around or kind of pan the, the video because it thinks that's what you want. So I want it to be clear that's what I didn't want. And so it, I've just, it's given me the prompt. So it says a realistic interior transition showing the transformation of a living room. The camera remains completely still, no panning or zooming. Start with an older style living room, plain white wall. Um, and it basically was detailing the product. So I didn't want that because it's going to have the reference images. So I just said it will have access to both images and it's giving me this prompt. So feel free to pause the video
video to read this prompt in full. I'll read the first sentence and then we'll crack on and show how it works. So it's like create a smooth, realistic transformation between this before and after images of a living room. Right, and I've taken that prompt. I actually didn't even read the full thing. I just literally copied the whole thing. I then went into file.ai, found Pixverse v5 transition. The cool thing about this one as well is it's extremely cheap. You can see here uh, for a five second video, your request will cost 15 cents for 360p and 540p and 20 cents for 720p and 40 cents for 1080p. Now, what you can do with this is, for example, if you're just playing around, you can play around in 360p. If you're actually trying to generate realistic ads, uh, make sure that you do use 1080p. And to find out that information, just click more down here and you can choose the resolution and aspect ratio that you want. Uh, for this, I've gone with just 69. If you don't touch anything, it will generally just use the default aspect ratio that you uploaded the image in. And you also got like different styles here, which you can choose to select anime, 3D animation, clay, to comic, cyberpunk. So now I just left this as is and let it run. It took maybe 30 seconds to generate. And this was the video that came back. Not perfect. There's a couple things in here which need changing, such as it kind of switches really quick to green. But you know, it's very, very cool. And you could create multiple versions of this. You could then loop them together back to back and you could use that in a video app. But just a very, very cool and funky transformation. Um, it's got a few things wrong, but generally speaking, this is pretty cool. And I've used this to generate lots of different styles of ads. For example, I use it to create this ad here. And what I did was I actually did like three or four of these back to back side by side. So for example, the first one was just one image. It was like, please, if I initially started with the original lift of the image and I asked to place it in the forest. I then created one video, which was to have the doors opening on that lift like this. And then I transitioned that. I was like, please transition this into a home and it did that. And then the next one I did was please have that transition into a different room like it does now. And then I think at the end, I have it just a simple image at the end, just showing the product. So you can see you can kind of create multiple versions of these. So for example, if you've got different styles of media walls or products, you could have before to after transformation. Then you can have another after to after transformation. You can show the different products, different colors, and you can kind of loop those together to create some really, really cool and effective video ads. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to do a whole nother video just like this one where we're talking more about UGC style video ad creative. So if you want to see that video, make sure you do actually subscribe to the channel. And of course, as always, if you want us to run your ads for you, I've left a link in the description. If you want me to teach you how I run ads more effectively so you can grow your own ad agency, I'll leave a link to our community down below this video as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.